Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in this video I'm gonna show you plenty of new hidden features in iOS 16 developers beta 4 and most of these hidden features you won't find in any other video on YouTube so let's find out what's new. On the left I have iOS 16 developer beta 3 and on the right I have developer beta 4 and I will start with Safari. The tab switcher of Safari got a lot of new changes first. The number of tabs at the top left corner has been removed and it only appears at the bottom. The second change is the search bar now hidden in beta 4 and to get it you need to swipe down. Change number three is the new mic icon that will allow you to search your tabs using the voice, not only the keyboard like before. Now let's open a web page on both to show you a new useful shortcut. So for example, if you have a piece of text that you want to search in page, like the word iPhone for example, when you select the text, you will see this new shortcut says find selection. Once you tap on it, it will start the find in page a feature and you can search for the same word in multiple places across the web page. So that's pretty much it when it comes to Safari. Now let me show you some random changes and the first one is in the text selection tool. When you select any text in any app you will see a new option here called search web which will take you right away to Safari with the search results. Change number two is in the three fingers gesture. When you do a gesture using your three fingers, you will see a redesigned menu here at the top. So let me try this one more time. So as you see here on beta four, it's now labeled each button has a name and instead of using only icons like before. Change number three is in the weather app. When you open it for the first time after installing beta four, you will get this new splash screen talking about a new feature called announcing severe weather alerts. Once you tap on continue, it will take you to the notification settings under the weather app where you can activate the severe weather feature, but it will request access to your location all the time. So when you tap on settings, it will take you to this settings page where you can choose always once done and then go back to the weather app. You will get an alert saying weather would like to send you critical alerts. Once you tap on allow, the feature will be activated. So let me show you how you can access it from the app itself by tapping on the list icon and then the ellipses button then notifications and you will see the new toggle over here. Change number four is in the books app. When you go to the themes and settings and then tap on the options button then go to font now you will see 13 fonts in beta 4 versus only 9 in beta 3. Change number 5 is in the spotlight search and I got this new suggestion saying often played at this time and it shows here the name of the radio. So it seems like the spotlight search will now suggest the music based on the time of the day which didn't exist in beta 3. Change number six is in Siri voice. I think it talks in a slightly different way after beta 4 so let me show you some samples. What's the weather? It's currently clear and 30 degrees. It's currently clear and 30 degrees. How long does it take to go to Ajman by car? Traffic to Ajman is light. So I'm estimating 50 minutes via Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road. Traffic to Ajman is light. So it should take 50 minutes via Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road. So in my opinion, it feels less robotic in iOS 16 beta 4. Now let's move on to the lock screen and beside the obvious changes you see in other YouTube videos, I will show you even more. And the first one, if your phone is locked and then you tap and hold on the lock screen, you will see this new text saying unlock to edit that doesn't exist in beta 3. Change number two, if you have any of the focus modes activated, now you can change it right away from the lock screen, which was missing from the previous beta of iOS 16. And the most exciting change in the lock screen is the perspective zoom now works after installing beta 4. As you see, I have it activated here on both wallpapers. But once I apply this wallpaper on both phones like this and then go to the lock screen, as you see, when I tilt the phone, the wallpaper is moving, giving this nice 3D effect like this which is not the case in beta 3. And there is a minor change in the lock screen padlock icon when you unlock the device using your face ID. In beta 4, it stays longer. So let me show you this side by side. As you see, it will disappear after beta 3. The lock screen widgets also got some new changes and I will start with the weather app. First, the order of the widgets is totally different and a lot of them have been renamed. For instance, the rain widget is now called precipitation, sun events has been renamed to sunrise and sunset, and moon events has been renamed to moon. 
And when it comes to the clock widgets, you will see some differences too. The digital and the analog clocks are now separated under two separate categories. One is called city digital and one is called city analog. And lastly, the clock category has been removed because it's not required anymore. Now let's move on to the photos app. And the first change under the all photos category, when you pinch to zoom, uh, you will no longer be able to make your photos very tiny like this but this is the maximum you can do in beta 4 and in the months view the dates are written differently so if you take a look here at the dates you will see the month is coming first and then the day but in beta 3 it's the other way around and in some cases when you go inside the photos of a specific month now you will see a comma before the year under albums there are some changes too when you go to people and the places now you will see a different favorites icon the second change under albums when you try to access your hidden or recently deleted folders you will see a different verbiage for the face id here it says use face id to view this album while in beta 3 it says this album requires face id also the show album button has been renamed to view album under search you will see a new mic icon that will activate apple dictation to search for photos that didn't exist in beta 3 and also when you search for people like this for example you will see the added by section has been renamed to shared by now let's talk about the mail app and it got a couple of new changes when you swipe on the mail message the later option is now called remind me the second change is under the mail app settings when you scroll all the way down you will see a new option here called undo send delay and you can choose up to 30 seconds which wasn't the case in beta 3. so that's pretty much it for today those are the most hidden features in ios 16 developer beta 4. please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new features but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video